and welcome to this tutorial on Python. Today we'll be building a really fun code and we'll be playing rock, paper, scissors. Now quite simply what we're going to be doing is importing a module and then we're going to be creating an if statement within a function and then what we're going to be doing is calling that function compared to the random value chosen using the random module. So let's get started. So first thing I'll do is zoom in and import the random module as R to keep it short. The next thing to do is to create our list. So our list is simply going to be called RPS or rock, paper, scissors. And inside that list, we're going to put rock, paper, scissors. Let's make it a bit smaller. There we go. The next thing to do is to create a random choice within that list. So we're going to put r.choice and then we're going to call our list and we're going to put that, call that function as x and then we're going to print x. See, you get a random choice every time. If you look in the output below what I'm doing, you see that? You get a random choice, rock, paper or scissors. There we go. The next thing to do, so that print check is working. Brilliant. Next thing to do is create our function. So this is now the choice that we're going to make. So that choice above here was the computer. And now we're going to make our choice. And we call that y. And within this function, we're going to call we're going to create an if statement. And I'm going to do one for rock and show you. So we're going to put, you know, if y, so our choice, is equal to rock and uh, x, so the computer's random choice, is equal equals rock as well, then we're going to print, you know, play again. Now this is all text, so be careful to put it all correctly within quotation marks. Um, the next thing we'll do is create uh, elif, so else if y equals rock and x equals uh, scissors. You know, you have printing, print, uh, player wins. That's correct, isn't it? So if you're rock, yeah, because you blunt the scissors. And then we do exactly the same thing, but for paper, we just think of each scenario. So if the next one is if rock, if we're rock and then they choose paper, then computer wins because the paper surrounds the rock. So that was rock. Now we just do exactly the same thing but for paper and scissors. So let me just copy and paste. It's a bit of a cheat, but I did do it earlier. So here we go. This is paper. So we've done three different scenarios for paper. Then we're going to do the three different scenarios again for scissors. Let's put a gap there. So we've done rock, paper, scissors. Notice I've got if, elif, elif, if, elif, and then you can also mix it up a bit if you wanted to. You could if, elif, if. You know, all these could be ifs if you wanted to. So there's a bit of scope, a bit of freedom. Uh, and then the next thing to do is to call our function. So choice and test it out. Choice, uh, let's choose rock. So here, player wins. So it would be helpful to actually have that print out. So let's see. So the random choice chosen here was paper. We chose rock. So paper surrounds rock, so computer does win. We can test it out again. So they chose scissors. We had rock. We win. And we can test it out with scissors as well. Play again, computer wins, play again. 
and then let's do another check for paper. Basically check all the scenarios. Working really well. And that is it. That's a very simple and fun game. Very quick, easy code as well. Great for learning about if statements and functions. So I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Check out more on my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.